Welcome. We're now about to be joined by a person who's created a record in this election. He's fought from the same constituency for 29 years. I don't think anybody in Parliament at the moment has, is, has done that. And he's won with a huge margin this time. I'm talking, of course, about Kamal Nath from Chindwara. Kamal Nath, thank you very much for joining us and many, many congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Pranay. I was just wondering, in the end, uh, the result in Madhya Pradesh, did you expect the, uh, the Congress to do better? Uh, were you slightly disappointed or are you you're happy with this result? Not your own seat overall for the state. Well, I, well my honest answer is that I'm uh, happy with it. I thought we would win 12. I was telling people we'd been, we'll win anywhere between 10 and 12, recognizing that uh, we do have deficiencies in our organization. And the BJP in the state has been uh, uh, very clever and very smart in uh, taking the programs of the central government and portraying them as their own. So, uh, and unless you, are, you have that organi organi organizational strength, we must recognize that uh, if I was to look at my first election in December of 79 and to look at it now, uh, how much electorate has changed, how much the way you campaign has changed, how much uh, uh, the way uh, your voters respond has changed. And unless you are changing along with that, uh, you just cannot win. So uh, you have to be able to get your so, message across to the voters. So, Elections, I believe, is uh, uh, only 60% uh, political, 40% is the management how you conduct and manage your elections, right, how right. you get your message across to voters. That's probably also true about running a state. And you're saying that the BJP, clever or smart or whatever, they are running an efficient state in uh, state administration in Madhya Pradesh. So are you saying that the Congress has a tough task ahead of it if it's going to win back the state assembly? Well, we've learned a lot from the last assembly elections. And the last assembly elections in the race for becoming a candidate so much fragmented our uh, organization that we just were not there organizationally to win that election. It's, I do not believe even today or even then that the people wanted this government. But then uh, we never took our message across. The, uh, our organization was so fragmented because of the race for tickets. And this happens in every assembly election and it's happening more and more. Do you think so you learned? We will have to find an answer to this issue. Do you think you learned from uh, from 2008, where the Congress was so divided into different camps? Is that what you mean when you say uh, our organisation was fragmented? And and was that not the case this time? No, I don't think that we were divided at the top. We were divided at a block level, at a district level, at a constituency level. Now, if at the leaders are not getting along, that's a separate story. But if in the block, in the district. Your organization is not united. Your organization is not uh, performing, is not getting to the voters. You're not going to win. You may have any message. So it's really your organizational strength. And that's what I think this is the story of UP, where, where assiduously uh, uh, we tried to build the party in Uttar Pradesh. And wherever I think our party has been built, uh, wherever organizationally we are strong, we could have some semblance of strength in UP, we have won.